League Baseball on the show for you now as we present coverage from the AAA East. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Rochester Red Wings and the Louisville Bats. It's baseball. It's the show, and it comes your, your way next. Louisville Bats. Victor Robles digging in now. He will lead this one off today. Looking to drop one down, but he can't make contact. One and two. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is gone to open up the ball game. And now here is Jeremy De La Rosa. De La Rosa. Now the 2 1 pitch. Our game time temperature pushing up close to 90 degrees, 89 degrees to be exact at first pitch. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Stepping in next, Rhett Wiseman will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. All even now, two and two. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. And another foul ball. Two out, nobody on. And this is in a bit tight, maybe above the letters as well. So it's a full count now, three and two. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike. And the inning is over. So stepping in is Nick Senzel. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And there's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got to count his favorite three and one. Heading out towards shallow right. Weissman is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. Batting second. Digging in next, no Jesse Winker. His past numbers with Steven Strasburg, he's gone three for six. Now the one and one pitch. Line hard to center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. So two out, nobody on. And that'll bring up the big left-handed bat of Logan Morrison. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Lomo turns on one and sends it to deep right field. He's around first, heading for two. And he is in the second with a two out double. That is cool. The right field. TJ. To the plate now, TJ Friedel. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. On the ground to the right side. Reined in. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Second inning set to go. And set to go is the third baseman, Drew Mendoza. Here comes the one two. I got to count two and two. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. That is it. The first baseman, Mike Ford. Into the box, Mike Ford. Into the corner and slicing foul.
pulled toward right center field. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. So now here is Jackson Flores looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. And the weight back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Another one two delivery. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Looked like he was on that one, but one it's ball, one and two. Now. That's a really nice thing about pitching with the base open. You could work out of the strike zone a little bit more. And threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Now to the plate, here is number 28. He's ready for his first A.B. here in this one. Fouled away. Here comes the one two. Is taken two for ball two. two Hard on the ground towards short. Scooped up. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. Next up, Jose Garcia. Jose Garcia. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Got him up. Into the, the box, Reese Hines. Reese. The 1-1 home. Misses oh. low. Good take on the curveball there. Swung on and missed, and it's two even two. at 2-2. Two and two. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Now the payoff pitch home. High in the air out towards shallow right. Right fielder coming on. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. And stepping in, Bo Taylor. He takes his first Number cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. Now at the plate, here is number 38, and he's ready to take his first cuts. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a miss on a pitch outside. One and two now. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence, he's got great body language on the mound, he's got fastball command, and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. Now another 1 2. Curveball hit on the ground to shortstop. He's got it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So bases are empty with one out now, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Steven Strasburg. Now the 2 1. Hit to short, right to him. 
And that's the second out. Bases are empty here with two away. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Victor Robles. Third inning, no score to this point. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he will pull into second with a two out double. Now back left field, Jeremy De La Rosa. Standing in now, Jeremy De La Rosa. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Belted high and deep into right center. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. In now, Rhett Wiseman. Lifted into center field. Senzel makes the play and the side is retired. Leading off the inning it'll be Hector Perez and they could use a spark from him here. You know these next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace even though it's early. Here comes the one two lifted in the air out towards the left fielder giving chase now a reaching grab as he makes the play and loses his balance all at once the center fielder. back to the top of the order now and that means Nick Senzel will dig in at the plate. Swing and a miss and one it's ball. a ball and two strikes two strike. here. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Nick Senzel becomes the second out in the bottom of the third. The 1-1. One, one. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Now it'll be the four hole hitter Drew Mendoza. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate and he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled usually when you battle you get in that swing mode a lot of pitches you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Well below the knees laid off on the change up there. Count remains full. Payoff pitch one more time. This is line to left and a base hit so the leadoff man is aboard. The bat. The first base. Mike Ford. At the plate Mike Ford fouled off. Again a one two. And that just misses the corner inside to even the count of two and two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. So he notched the backwards K on that one. Mike Ford becomes the first out of the inning. Hit sharply on the ground. Oh, what a stop by Morrison. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning.
stepping up is Logan Morrison. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. And that's been their only hit so far in this one. They've been dealing with some really great pitching in this game. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Now with the now plate, T.J. Friedel, right he's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. 2-2. Uh, Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Up next, number 28. Number 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 3-2 pitch. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. Next, it'll be Jose Garcia looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Now the one-and-one one pitch. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. And this one's in the dirt. No advance here, but it's three and one now. A runner on first with two away. Three two. And it's up to a three two full count now. Three two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Now with the plate is Samuel Infante. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hit hard to the right side. But this will wind up a foul ball. 2 and 2. And he lays off so it's full now. 3 and 2. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. The batter, number 38. Stepping in now, number 38. Nope. Just That's off that. the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Got him to go after a bad one there, and it evens the count at two and two. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. Catch made out there in center field as the runner will tag from second. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Steven Strasburg. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, and I know you want to lace a line driver, hit a potential home run. But I'll tell you what, grab the cheap ribby when it's there. Give me a ground ball, middle of the diamond, and steal a run. Two balls and two strikes now. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch, wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Changed up on him as this is grounded a second. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Now so the lineup flips over and digging in, Victor Robles. He'll try and start things over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground ball. Lifted down the line in left. Left fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Reese Hines. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Now the 2-1 takes a pitch for strike number two. Fouls this one off. The 2-2 one more time. 
Hey, throwing the ball great up into this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Flores is there for it. Makes the play one away. Next to hit, Bo Taylor comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. One out, nobody on. And here's a curveball that just about got away as it misses inside for a ball. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at 2 and 2. Now the pitch. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Taylor is retired. You're Two down clean. now. Mike Freeman hit, hit, hit. will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Mike Freeman. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. CNL Pettis takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 43. Ready to take his hacks again. Jeremy De La Rosa blasted a two-run homer in his last at-bat. And I'm sure as he strides to the plate right here, he's certainly got to have a little bit more confidence. But that's not his game. He's got to get back to what makes him successful, put back to baseball, and try and drive something right back up the middle. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. The right field. Right. Into the box now, Rhett Wiseman. And there's a line drive, base hit to left field. At the plate now, Drew Mendoza. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind the count with guys on base. Fouled away. Here now the 2-2. Again, he sends it out of play. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. The 2-2 one more time. Starting to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. Now so it's a no, tight please, spot please. here. First and second, one man out. And here is the outfielder, Mike Ford. Eight, the ball in two, two strikes. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. There's a swing and a high blast headed for the corner and right. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Just not able to let that breaking ball travel enough right there. You could see his eyes light up when that popped out of the pitcher's hands. And he just hooked it foul. Friedel back in plenty of time to put this away, however. And there are two gone. So now to the plate, Jackson Flores. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. So one, two. Sent on the ground out to second. And the inning will end as they're unable to cash in with two outs. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up Nick Senzel. The 1-1. One, one. Two balls, one strike. And 
he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And he'll put this one away for the first out of the inning. Next to hit is Jesse Winker, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Winker. Oh, he breaks out the hook there. Good for strike two. You see there, the pitch count is up to 88. And at this point in the game, that's a good place to be. So I think we'll see him stay out there for at least a little while longer. Full count now. Three, two pitch. Another full count pitch home. And he looks at one that misses. And that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. The first baseman. Logan. Morrison. Strasburg on one and one. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Fouled off. The 2 2 one more time. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off speed pitches. Let's we'll see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Winker at second with two down. And he fouls this one off. To two balls and two strikes now. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Mark Warren is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 77. Mark. Striding in is Samuel Infante. He doubled his last time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last oh, time. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Samuel Infante becomes the first out of the inning. Curveball, but a good job to lay off, and he works out the free pass. So next to hit is Steven Strasburg. 0 for 2 with a run batted in for him thus far. Ready with the one and one. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. There's one. On to Morrison at first, but it's not in time, and they'll have to settle for one. So next to bat will be Victor Robles. He flew out in his last A.B. Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Set and the 1 1 pitch. Swing and the ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Two down, runners at first and second. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. 
Now two and two, two on, two out. This is one you have to make a pitch right here. The last thing you want to do is run the count full to three and two. Then the runners are going to be off to the races. And the two out threat won't pay off. The inning is over. Digging in, the switch hitter, number 28, as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. Now the one and one pitch. Fouled away. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. And this is popped up near second base. And this is taken in for out number one. So here is Jose yeah, Garcia. Over two here stop. to start the afternoon. Okay. The 2 1 home is swung on and missed, two and that's strike two. two strike. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's veal is still top notch. This guy's a horse. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. On the first, Strasburg's in control here, two away. So the next to bat will be Reese Hines. Flew out last time up. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that one's taken outside for a ball. We walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Number 36. Three and one. Here it is. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. The three two pitch is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Philip Deal has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Now pitching and batting in the seventh spot. Number Ready now is Rhett Philip Wiseman. He's Deal. working on a one for now three thus far. And batting nine. Number zero. This ball will be chopped foul. Hard hit ball to second. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Drew Mendoza. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. One and two now. Into the windup and the pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. He's got it. Throw in time at first for route number two. Here's Mike Ford. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Slider misses, and he's in danger of losing him here. Three and one. Jackson Flores would be next. That's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Now the three and two pitch. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two out base runner here after all. The batter number two. Next up is Jackson Flores. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. To short. Right to him. And the two out walk doesn't come. Pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom now half of the eighth. Number 36. Now to bat, number zero. His first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Down low, two balls and a strike.
rounded back up the middle. And the throw He's first up. is in time, one gone. Next to stand down in down. is Nick Better Senzel. Field. He got under Nick. one and popped out his last down time up. Down. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Fly ball out toward right field. Around first, he's digging for second. And that will hop over the wall now as he'll be awarded second base here. It's a ground rule double. So now to the plate, Jesse Winker. Two and one. Count is two and one. Winker in front, three balls and a strike. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a 3-1 count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle end. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Inside, he misses ball four. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out. And that'll bring up the big left-handed bat of Logan Morrison. One and one, here it is. Toward right center field. Weisman is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. And now, T.J. Friedel in a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. Friedel. So, one, one. Hey! Count is one and two. I got to count two and two. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Right fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Brad Brock enters from the pen to start the ninth the inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. So kicking off the top of the ninth is Samuel Infante trying to pad their lead here before the bottom of the inning. Still even at two and two. Now here's the pitch. Now here's the ball hit sharply toward the right side. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Number well done. Number 38. Next to dig in, number 38. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. The 1-1. One, one. Oh, that's out. Bases are empty, one man out. <laughs> to third. Reined in. And there's out number two. Number 88 gets the call as a pinch hitter, and he'll get a chance with two out of his empty. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Line towards center field. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. The center field, number 16, Victor. Robles. In now, Victor Robles hit down the third baseline. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Close this one and now earn a save in the ninth. Number 21. And so now into the box mm -hmm. is number 28. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. A ball and two strikes now. Two. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality A-B and start the line moving again. Nope, that's a ball. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. 
Here now the 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Next, here is Jose Garcia. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Here's the 1 1. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Ready to deliver the one and two. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Delino DeShields will pinch hit here with two outs and the base is empty. Can't find the zone there and it's three and one. The win would be Steven Strasburg's here, barring any late turn of events. Now he tries to bunt his way aboard. No dice, three and two. One strike from a shutout. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, it sure feels good to shut somebody out. This was a 3-0 game that featured a lot of great pitching and timely hitting, which made the difference in this one. 3-0 the final score in this one today. The Rochester Red Wings led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Steven Strasburg is the winning pitcher of record. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and the rest of the crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head over to theshow.com. Here now is our final lunch.